Grant Cardone, once a car salesman and a reformed drug addict, now boasts millions of followers as a millionaire financial influencer. This car right here, this Rolls Royce Wraith. I gotta, I gotta pull this for the goddamn three and a half million, think the fucking door would close itself. <laughs> he preaches wealth building strategies, presenting a success story that many people aspire to. Yet his involvement with the controversial Scientology cult, known for the alleged practices of brainwashing and exportation, casts a shadow over his empire. Alleged swirl beneath the success lies a pattern of scamming those who trust him the most. In this video, we will uncover Cardone like many self-proclaimed gurus, maybe more manipulative than motivational. If you think following him is going to help you reach your financial goals, you are sadly mistaken. Grant Cardone was all place sucks, lost his mind. And it was like, I was like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? It was like really obvious that he knew nothing about selling in the real world. Like it just didn't make any sense when he was saying, like it was nonsensical and everyone knew it. He just made a fool of himself. I went from a hardcore fan to being scammed by Grant Cardone. And what drew me to him was his bold style. Um, he tells it like it like it is. Starting from a middle-class background in Louisiana, Cardone faced personal strategies early with the deaths of his father and brother. These events propelled him into a driven career in sales where he quickly excelled and later founded Cardone Training and Technologies to teach aggressive selling tactics. His hard sell approach has expanded into real estate and his best-selling books, where he continues to influence many people. We're gonna dive into the darker side of his methods and his accusations against him. It was the early 2000s where Cardone's path to wealth took a significant turn after he joined the Church of Scientology. This church has faced intense scrutiny over the years with allegations of abusive practices, brainwashing, and financial exploitation of its members. It seems Cardone found in this organization a perfect ally to further his own ambitions. Reports suggest that Cardone became one of the most influential members of the Church of Scientology, rapidly ascending in its ranks. He leveraged the resources and connections of this organization to expand his reach, attracting more followers and channel funds towards his own business ventures. But Cardone began meticulously crafting his social media image in the late 2000s. He posted carefully produced photos and videos showcasing his glamorous lifestyle and his supposed financial success. Gradually, he built a base on devoted fans who seemed enthralled by his promises of wealth and success. By 2015, Cardone has honed his online presence to perfection with the full-time cameraman he shared skillfully edited videos on platforms like Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Impressed by his seamlessly luxurious lifestyle, his followers appeared increasingly willing to heed his advice and recipes for financial success. That's when Cardone took things up a notch with his annual 10X Growth Conference. The first edition of the 10X Growth Conference took place in 2017 in Las Vegas, drawing 2,000 attendees. Cardone managed to attract notable speakers such as Draymond John, the founder of the fashion brand FUBU, and the star of Shark Tank. This undoubtedly lent credibility to his event and brand. Shortly after, Cardone even made a bolder move. He launched his own real estate investment company, Cardone Capital, to directly sell share in his funds to his online followers. Leveraging his growing fan base, Cardone began aggressively promoting these investment opportunities, promising astronomical returns. Grant Cardone's high ticket sale courses under the banner of Cardone University cover a range of sales and business topics, including sales fundamentals, cold calling, negotiation, and personal finance. These courses are priced ridiculously high, often reduced from the original thousands of dollars to hundreds of dollars, suggesting the aggressive marketing tactics that are a signature of Grant Cardone's sales style. It's important to consider other educational paths that offer transparency and real world opportunities without the high cost or controversy. Course careers is revolutioning the way people start their careers, making college education an option rather than the mandatory path to success or taking really bad courses. This innovative platform supports people who lack prior experience or degrees and place them in competitive roles traditionally filled by college graduates. And these courses aren't priced at thousands of dollars. Course careers aligns its curriculum with the demands of entry-level jobs, ensuring that everything is taught directly applicable in the workplace. Students receive mentorship from industry professionals through unlimited coaching, gaining insights from those currently active in the field. Moreover, Course Careers connects students with employers looking to interview and hire right now. Don't fall for the high-priced courses sold by online gurus. Check out Course Careers. The link will be in the description below. Let's talk more about Cardone Capital. Essentially, he promises followers that if they send him their money, he will invest it wisely in various apartment properties through his company. 
He assured investors that a generous monthly return from rental income and when the time is right, will sell the properties returning their initial capital along with generous profits. Sounds like a really good deal. This model isn't anything new. It's well known as syndication. It helps amateur and low income investors participate in the lucrative world of real estate. But of course, not everything is as perfect as it seems. According to information published on the Cardone's capital website, the company has managed a staggering $4 billion in assets with apartment complexes scattered across the country. While Cardone boasts personally overseeing operations, it raised eyebrows that his private jet pilot, Ryan, is listed as the company's executive vice president. What's more concerning is the seemingly unbreakable connection between Cardone Capital and the Church of Scientology, to which Cardone affiliated himself back in the early 2000s. According to testimonies from former employees, Scientology literature and influence remain a constant presence at the company's corporate events. In fact, one ex-employee revealed after the complaints arose about employees being pressured to join the church, indoctrination techniques became more subtle. Despite these troubling revelations, Grant Cardone's popularity continued to rise to even higher levels. In 2021, he starred in another reality show, Undercover Billionaire on Discovery Plus, where he challenged to make a million dollars in just three months in Colorado. Against the odds, Cardone managed to meet the challenge and founded a social media agency that continues to operate today. As Cardone ascended in financial and social media circles, his influence and power seemed to grow exponentially. But as his reputation expanded, questions began to rise about his true motives. Has Grant Cardone truly become the new mastermind of business or was there something more he wasn't telling us? Well, starting in 2020, lawsuits began to pile up. $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 in losses from fraud unfulfilled promises, and a long list of complaints about coercion into Scientology. Grant Cardone's empire was expanding, but it seemed like his primary goal was to squeeze every last cent of his devoted follower base. Court records revealed a disturbing pattern of complaints related to Cardone's training programs, where dissatisfied customers alleged that they were trapped in deceptive and burdensome contracts. Let's take the case of the pressure washer business owner in Ohio, for example. According to his statements, he tried to cancel the $497 per month contract with Cardone's training company after after just eight weeks, but was informed that he couldn't do so. An employee of Cardone's company even admitted that clients would only cancel once the contract has been fully fulfilled, resulting in a subsequent lawsuit for the remaining $16,000. Another example is Lisa Williams, owner of Jubilee Family Chiropractor, a small family business in Virginia. A Cardone enthusiast, Williams claimed that she was forced to max out her credit cards to attend training sessions with him after signing a six-year training contract for $795 a month. These stories seem to indicate that Cardone developed a business model that seemed heavily on exploiting his fanatical follower base, trapping them in long-term contracts that are difficult to cancel or afford. And while Cardone has faced increasing criticism for these practices, he has so far managed to escape significant consequences. And that's just if we're talking about his training programs, which according to many, are nothing more than basic knowledge packaged in a luxurious wrapper. If we shift our focus to Cardone Capital, things get a bit darker. In 2020, they face a class action lawsuit for fraud, breach of fiduciary duty, and unjust enrichment. The lead plaintiff was a retiree who had invested $20,000 in their real estate funds. Unfortunately, he passed away, but his daughter inherited the case. And what they allege is that Cardone Capital was offering investments without properly registering or even making the necessary disclosures. In addition to seeking financial compensation for damages, the plaintiffs are demanding that the investments with the company be voided or rescinded. What's even more serious is that they want a court order prohibiting Cardone Capital from continuing with the alleged fraudulent practices that they're accused of doing. Grant, on the other hand, has denied all accusations against him and promised to fight the lawsuit tooth and nail. Using his usual combative style, he has labeled the plaintiffs as mere haters trying to tarnish his reputation and sabotage his business for alternative motives. Cardone maintains that his real estate investments are completely legitimate and profitable, and he has always acted in the best interest of his investors. However, it remains to be seen what a judge ultimately will decide on the matter, but it seems like the accusations of unethical practices against Cardone and his investment company continue to mount. Marcus Askins from Georgia is just another example of the alleged shady dealings with Cardone Capital. This man claimed in 2022, he invested $1,000 in one of the funds, believing in Grant Cardone's reputation and media exposure as a real estate guru. But the problem is since Askins invested that money, he hasn't seen a penny back in returns or refunds from his initial investment. But get this, Cardone's capital's response is that Askins didn't provide his address correctly to send him the checks. The problem is with such a terrible defense, Atkins 
insists that they continue to send him advertising and marketing materials, proving that they have his correct information and his correct address. But the shadiness of Cardone Capital doesn't end there. Even their internal practices raise red flags. On one hand, besides the standard 1% management fees charged to clients, Cardone Capital was pocketing another 1% of the total investment each year. On top of that, they could take up to 20% of the profits as a performance fee. Some would call these conditions downright abusive. But what really sets off all the alarms was an incident from about three years ago. It seems an external audit uncovered a discrepancy worth millions of dollars in one of the real estate funds. Instead of transparency resolving the situation, it's allegedly that it led to an operation to destroy key documentation. According to a former executive, they even hired temporary staff solely to dispose of evidence. And the most shocking part is Grant Cardone himself supposedly gave the order to burn the place down, quote unquote, a clear reference to destroying all of the papers. There's a YouTuber out there, Aaron Smith Levin, that has over 50 videos talking about Cardone and exposing everything that he does. After digging into company records, Smith Levin figured out that Cardone has made over $110 million by getting ahead of his own investors in deals that they thought he was negotiating for them. To back this up, Huffington got a hold of the internal property evaluation document from Cardone Capital. It shows the property's values before selling to the investors with big profit margins. At first glance, Grant Cardone seemed to achieve the American dream. A former drug addict and car salesman turned millionaire author and influencer. He has built a cult based on lies and scams that made him a millionaire at the expense of ruining many of his followers. Despite the lawsuits, he continues to thrive enriching himself with increasingly questionable methods like 10x health, still surrounded by wealthy friends, famous friends. How long can he maintain this facade of success? That's a good question, and we'll see how it goes in the future. But tell me what you guys think about Grant Cardone. Do you believe him? Do you think he's a legit guru? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.